Hey everyone, the topic for today that I want to speak on is what you can learn from the CrossFit Games and what how CrossFit relates to being an entrepreneur. Um, currently the CrossFit Games are going on. Um, I was just watching uh, swimming and uh, for their games and they're doing uh, muscle ups on top of that. Uh, very, their, their work ethic is very intense and they're all very all-rounded athletes at the end of the day. Uh, if you don't know what CrossFit is, it's, it's a combination of flexibility, strength training, uh, explosiveness, um, athleticism, um, body weight exercises, uh, pretty much it's just look, taking a whole spectrum of, of workout routines and putting into one and being ready for anything at any time. What I take away from the CrossFit Games though, and I, I'm wanting to share with you, is that no matter how much these top level athletes prepare, they are not ready for what could be hitting them um, at the games. They don't know what's going to, what the events are going to be. They haven't been able to prepare for them ahead of time. You know, such as what a sprinter would be at the Olympics. With you know, I'm going to do the 100 meter or the 400 meter re, uh, run or sprint. These guys, they have to prepare for long distance runs, sprints, swimming, bike riding, rowing, um, on top of doing some type of weightlifting uh, in that in that circuit in that event and they need to be number one. What you should be taking away from these games as an entrepreneur is that you can read online, you can study, you can prepare yourself as best you can, but once you get started, you will eventually realize that you're reacting to everything and the preparation that you put in ahead of time will either help you or hurt you depending on how knowledgeable you are in that area. For some of these athletes, they might not have actually even done these movements that they're having to do uh, at the games or in the combination that they're having to do them. And as an entrepreneur, that's the same way of how things are work, going to work for you. What the athletes are doing, having to do though, is they're adapting into what they know they, they have done and trying their best to maximize their explosiveness and their, uh, minimize the time that it takes for them to do these, ex to do these events in these circuits um, while competing. And as an entrepreneur, that's what you're going to have to do. You have to take the knowledge you have from previous experiences and implement that into your new challenges that you're going to be facing. From making a new app, to starting a YouTube channel, to a blog, to a whole new business, or whatever you decide to challenge yourself on, you will be taking the previous experiences and trying to implement those into your current challenges in your current projects that you're, you'll be working on. If you don't know what to do, you can read online, but at the end of the day, you'll be taking a lot of the knowledge that you have and you have already experienced from other events, such as being in school, school projects, or from a work event that you've already done and learning and adapting that to work for what you are currently doing. If you can do this the best, you will succeed. You will be able to grind your way to the top. Now obviously you can make things easier by hiring another employee or finding a specialist in that area and paying for them. But as a, for, as a startup and as most entrepreneurs, you end up having to carry a lot of that burden. So you won't be perfect, you won't be doing things the most ideal and the most time efficient way at points. But if you know how to do one task, you can take that and experiment and push yourself to get to that next step and to move on to the next project or that next uh, event that you need to, to face. Overall, hope you took something away from that message. The main thing is every project that you face, you'll be taking previous experiences and adapting to that project if you don't have the knowledge specifically on how to handle that, that challenge that you're facing. I would highly recommend you watching the CrossFit Games it's all over the next week they'll be competing and it's absolutely inspirational whether or not you enjoy watching fitness these athletes are just phenomenal so that's my topic for today if you like this video or you like uh, the topics that I'm touching on please subscribe below I uh, upload three times a week and um, Mike Lesbrooks and that's the topic for today thank you